everyone, it is Toby here back for another video and in today's video I am going to be going over how I transformed my uni bedroom into a home gym. So if you don't know already, everywhere is in lockdown across the UK. I live in Wales for uni, I go to Cardiff, but at home I live in England, both are locked down. Back at home, as you've seen, I've got the garage gym, the lockdown garage gym, the Lively Strength Centre, my absolute baby, my home. And I can't use it when I'm at uni because it's a long ass way away. But here I have transformed my bedroom into a gym whilst the lockdown's going on. Because usually when I'm in Cardiff, I use the public gym. Uh, so I had to improvise considering that one's closed. So I'll give you a quick tour of the gym, explain how I've got the space, how I keep all the plates, what weights I have, what tools I actually have and what I'm planning to do with my training. So before we move on with the video, I just want to say thank you all so much for the support on the recent videos. Again, this channel is just taking off at the minute. I'm absolutely loving and absolutely love doing it. And remember, if you want supplements, protein, anything like that, go to the link in the description below and use code TOBYLIFELY1 for 10% off. You'll be supporting me, you get money off, you get some really good products and you'll get epic gains. So to start things off, we will start with the door. This is the door. It's actually annoying because this door does not fit my pull-up bar. So if I'm doing pull-ups, I have to do it in a different door in the house. But if I spin around, this is the view we get when we enter my room. It is a relatively big-ish space. It's not the smallest room, but it definitely could be bigger. Definitely not home gym worthy, but we've got my bed, we've got a box of shoes. And first things first, we've got all my gear and kits. We've got chain for weighted dips, bar collars, my bell, all of my lifting kits and stuff like that. We've got a mini fridge to keep various different drinks cold whilst I'm working out. And then we come in. Now, first, I'll uh, start off by showing you the bits that aren't part of the gym. Then we'll move on to the gym. So first things first, we've got my computer set up here. Uh, we've got the Myoband shaker. You can get that at Myoband using code TOBYLIKELY1. You know how it is. We've just got a bunch of random mess. We've got the heat lamp for muscle recovery and stuff. Really good stuff. Sorry, everything's a bit of a mess on the desk. I moved in literally yesterday. So it is still a bit of a mess, but we've got a load of random things. A naughty poster, a gripper, and uh, my boxing thing pinned to the wall. Trying to make use of as much wall space as I absolutely can got a fan because it can get very hot in here during the summer if I'm especially if I'm working out so that, that's the view out the window very boring very nice but yeah that is pretty much it for all of the non-gym stuff breezed over that quite quickly and you might be surprised that the wardrobe coming up in a bit is not full of clothes at all that's where most of the gym kit is stored all of my clothes are in that chest of drawers there I don't have too many so it is the best place and you can see me there hello hello what's going on so yeah, let's start with, I guess, the first bit of gym equipment that I started with in the home gym and how we expanded. So we have got the Easy Curl Bar and the two 10kg dumbbells. The Easy Curl Bar with all those weights on is about 18 and a half kilo, I think. And then you can put the ones on the dumbbells on as well to make it heavier. And that's just on a couple of axle jacks that I got at Lidl for literally 15 quid or something. Just a nice little stand. And I actually used to bench with that easy bar and those stands lying on the floor. Terrible idea. Horribly unsafe. Really not a good idea, that one. But that was my first setup back oh, a couple of lockdowns ago. And we've definitely upgraded since then. So we've got the 60 kilo Atlas stone that just sort of chills in here. I do have the cushion to drop it onto so I don't go through the floor. But I'm a strong man. I need to train. So I guess I have to keep an Atlas stone here takes up a bit of room, it's a bit annoying, but you can like sit on it and stuff. Here's what it is, we've got my plant, makes it just feel nice in here, and we got the most important bit of kit that I brought back with me, and that is the trap bar. Got that from Mirafit recently, uh, and you probably saw I recently pulled 207 kilo on it. That is because over the next 12 weeks, whilst I'm in lockdown, I am gonna be running the Road to 450 kilos program by Terry Hollands to try and push my conventional deadlift over that 200 kilo mark, which should be pretty good. And I can do all that training from within this room. So I should be able to do that without the need of a public gym, which is nice. So that's all good, but yeah, we'll move on to this setup. And obviously you've seen this bench and uh, squat stands before. They're the same ones I use at home. I brought them back with me, um, but I can't have my seven foot barbell in here because this room isn't seven feet wide. I don't have that space. So we've got a five foot one there. So five foot, it's not even a one inch bar. It's slightly bigger than one inch. So none of my one inch plates fit on it. It's a bit annoying, but we got that on the bench. I've got it set it up because I'm going to be doing chest day today. It's a Monday. 
So it's set up to bench. All of this just folds nicely away against the wall uh, because you can stand the bench up and stuff. That's really useful. It doesn't take up too much space at all. So like when I'm deadlifting, I can just fold the bench up and deadlift in the space that I'm stood now. And it works quite well, but that bar is eight kilos. So I can get some pretty decent numbers on it with all the plates I've got. As you can see, I've got a couple five kilo plates and a couple 2.5 kilo plates. That's not all the plates I have. They're just the ones that don't fit in the wardrobe where everything else is. So in this wardrobe, if I open it up, there we go. As you can see, I don't know if you can see actually, it might be a bit dark, but I've got my farmer's handles back there. Got the cushion for the Atlas Stone. I've got a pull-up bar that has a dip station attachment. As I said, that doesn't fit in that door, but it fits in one of the doors downstairs. So I will use it down there when I need to do pull-ups and dips. And then down the bottom here is where I've got all my plates. So I've actually got four 25 kilo plates and two 10 kilo plates in there. So that's 110 kilos in there. And I've also got uh, this two, no, 120 kilos, sorry. And I've got two more five, so that's 130 and two. So I've got 135 kilos of plates that I can fit on this bar on the trap bar. So that means I can get the trap bar up to 135 and the trap bar is 27. Quick maths, quick maths. I can get it up to, got nearly like 165 kilo, nearly 170 kilo, which is more than enough for the program I'm doing at the minute. And then this bar, I can get it up to about 150 kilos, which again, is more than enough for what I'm doing at the minute. Of course, these stands have to have the safeties up because I can't get a spotter in here. It's just a one room, I'm in a lockdown. So yeah, I will just be benching on my own. So having the safeties is absolutely necessary because of course, never bench alone without safeties. But there we go. That is all the gym equipment I can think to show you. Uh, I do most of my workouts in this room because I actually can overhead press. In here, as you can see, there's enough space, which is really useful. That was the one thing I was really concerned about when I moved in and I can do it. It's brilliant. I have enough space to do everything I need to do in here. Uh, and yeah, the only thing I can't do in here is obviously the farmer's carries, but I just do that either out on the road where if it's quiet or I do that in the garden and just do laps of like the 10 meter run, which isn't too bad. But yeah, everything else is done in here. I am actually on the second floor, so I can't drop things too hard. I have to be careful with the deadlifts and stuff so I don't go through the floor basically. But if I put things down gently and don't drop things and control everything, like I don't do at home, then everything goes well and I can work out here perfectly fine. So that's my plan going forward. I'm gonna run this deadlift program, not max out for at least 12 weeks because I don't have the weight to max out here. I don't wanna max out in this tiny room. So next 12 weeks gonna be really focusing on building up the deadlift, uh, stopping any PRs for heavy stuff like that and just yeah, keep my strength at a level at which it's progressing or at least stationary. I don't want to lose any strength in this lockdown and I can do that with all the equipment in this room. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed an insight into how I will be training in the next few weeks in this lockdown. Any other videos you want to see, leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram. All my socials can be found in the description as well as the link to my band where you can use to code TobyLifely1 to get 10% of anything. But anyway, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.